up, soldiers? Your boy Chris, CaribbeanPod.com, vibes in it up in the kitchen. Tasty Tuesday. Uh, my boy Shane, Bajan, watch now represent Barbados, reached out to me via Facebook. So you can always reach out via Facebook, via Twitter, Instagram, anything. Your boy always around. Wanted to know, Chris, how do you do your burgers? Well, here's the thing. For the price I pay for ground beef here in Canada, Watch now, when I do this thing, I want to taste that beef. So I do not necessarily go overboard with the flavors that I add to the beef. However, we're gonna accentuate that beef with some, what, well, let's get to the recipe. July's month of grilling is going on like steady and you know, we, we, we do all kind of nice things with flame and fire and smoke and all kind of thing in the backyard. Shane, this one is for you, people who are doing your burgers. You want to see a simple, nice, easy way to do hamburgers? Where the ham come from? Watch now. Let's go outside. Here I have about, I said about a pound and a quarter of medium ground beef. Beef is Mr. Beef, so I didn't go with the lean. Besides, I like it having a little bit of fat in there. That is extra flavor, as we see down in the Caribbean. Going first, a good dose of black pepper. Don't be too shy with the black pepper. And I like to go in with some sea salt. This is the only salt I will be adding to my burgers and I like adding it in the actual burger. A lot of people like to top their burger with the salt, not me. Herbs, some parsley, chopped up scallions, and a good dose. I'm talking about a tablespoon or so. Well, anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon depending on how much you like. Mr. Hmm. Boy, I always struggle to say this. Worcestershire. Eh, eh, maybe I said it correct this time. Now remember if you're doing this gluten free, get the gluten free. There's a gluten free product to this. So you want to go with that gluten free. What I want to mention, typically, I do not go in with scotch bonnet pepper in here. However, I just got the 411 from one of my daughters. Dad, can you make this spicy? There's no reason why we can't have spicy burgers anymore. Put some scotch bonnet pepper in there. So I diced up some scotch bonnet pepper finely. No seeds. Notice all the seeds in there, all the white membrane is there. We've talked about this before. That's where most of that heat is. You don't want that. If you want the heat, obviously, you can go in with that. Typically, I like to dress up my burger and let the condiments do the heat talking. This time we're gonna get little surprises of heat, pam, 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 throughout the burger, man. What I'm gonna do now, no, no eggs. We are baking, so don't put no eggs in there. That's it. I'm just gonna go in, mix all that together, shape out my burgers. I'm cooking for four, so I'm gonna make four nice big burgers with this. And watch now, then we're going outside. However, I'm running into a problem, guys. It is starting to storm outside, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take the camera outside. I love you guys. But I ain't taking electrical equipment when there's lightning and thunder outside. Eh, eh not for all you. So there they are, nice and thick and watch now looking juicy, eh? What you can do, since we didn't use any eggs, remember I said we are baking cakes, so no eggs in there. If you want to add a little bit more flavor, a little bit more island vibe, you can go in with some all spice. Um, some all spice would work great in here. Um, I would put it, I have it on a baking tray here. If you want, you can put it in the fridge. It will chill and it will firm up. So when you're putting it on your barbecue and your grill outside, it will not fall apart on you. If you want to make this on your stove top, you can certainly do that. I am going outside. I'm putting this right away on my grill. But like I said, it is storming outside. So I don't think I'm taking a camera with me. I do apologize about the lighting. Um, it is terrible outside. Pretty much grill your steaks and um, steaks, your hamburgers. <laughs> I've got steaks on my mind. Grill your hamburgers the way you would typically do it. What I would recommend doing, and my Canadian soldiers would know all about this. If you've got some Montreal steaks rub, toss some on top of there. Boy oh boy, watch that. Let me go there close up of the flame and everything. Special effects boy, watch that. Montreal steak spice will be wicked on this. So there you go, soldiers. Watch now. 
the best burgers you will ever try. We're telling you that beef is just gonna talk to you, man. The key component to a good burger. I mean, see, you could assemble it to however you want, but you see this sort of toasting, you got to toast the bun. No matter how much money you spend on that bun or you ain't spend on it, or if you make your bun yourself or whatever, toast it on that barbecue outside, you're gonna be loving me for that. Chris here, yeah, Caribbean Pod.com, give the video a thumbs up, man. Leave some comments below.